So what's going on everybody? Adam Neely with Build, Guild, and Refine TV. Coming back at you with another episode. So today's actually a special episode because I'm going to let you in on some information that will change your life. That's completely false, actually, because this is pointless information because I'm telling you what my favorite boot of all time is, and you're never going to get to experience it. In fact, they've discontinued the boot, and I can't even find them anymore. I know. Kind of ridiculous. This is the Vask Talus All Leather Vibram Sole Mid. This boot has been my favorite boot for the past six years. I have literally gone through three pairs of these boots a year for six years. And what I would do most frequently is I would rotate three pairs. I would have two pairs in work, one that was really getting trashed, and then I would replace it with another one. And I always had one nice brand new pair that... For instance, I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna, just, I'm just gonna ruin the, ruin the surprise and the punchline. This is the replacement to this. This is the new Vask. This is the new boot that replaced this boot. Look at the soles. Look at how similar the soles are. But look at how different the boot is. It's a very different boot. It's a very different feeling boot. And we're going to get to that later. But what I've always done is I've always had a nice boot for estimates and appointments. And then I always had my work boots. I always kept one pair in the truck and then one pair at the shop. I've gone through 18 pairs of them. When it would get to about this point, when the sole was still good, but they didn't look that great, I would usually give a pair of these to, my, to one of my workers. It's a good boot. And you can get a lot of wear out of this sole. But I'm a little anal about things, and um, once they get like to this point, I, I wouldn't really wear them too much unless I'm doing a mulch job, which is why this is covered in, in mulch dye. But this has been my favorite boot of all time. And if you guys have seen any of my other videos, like my favorite protein of all time, or my most comfortable boot, of all time, which is the Georgia six inch wedge sole that you can't find anymore either. This is my favorite work boot of all time. This is my favorite boot of all time. Now, you can find a couple pairs of these on eBay in like random sizes, but that's it. They don't even make these anymore with the black wedge sole, with the thin narrow black wedge sole. So I'm kind of beside myself right now because I'm a boot guy, I wear boots every day, and I'm stuck with something that isn't as comfortable. That really upsets me, because I'm on, I'm on my feet all day long. Oh, one more. And I did a video for you guys on these. The Carhartt wedge sole work boot. Which, if you notice, they look pretty new. The reason is because I hardly wear them. They're just not comfortable. It's too high of a wedge at the back. The boot has too much room for a narrow foot like mine. And I put, let me see, where I put it? I put these insoles in all of my shoes. I mean literally all of my shoes. I have narrow feet. I'm a nine and a half, ten. But I put these in my wedge soles, especially to give me just a little more padding and a little bit more uh, fill in the boot. But I use these in all my, all my work boots. Now these are the gray top, um, see, the generic version of the Dr. Scholl's work sole with the gel stuff. I put these in all my boots and I love them, they're, they're great. But I'm like, I'm like kind of beside myself right now because my, my, my two favorite boots I can't even buy anymore. I can't find these in my size. And I even called Vask and they can't locate any more of these. So, now the guy I spoke with at Vask said that these run a little differently, so I went up to the 10. 
Whereas normally my other Vasks I would wear nine and a half because I like them to fit very snugly. I don't, s snugly? Snugly. That's a thing you wear, isn't it? A snugly. Snuggy? Snuggy. <laughs> I like them to fit snug. So I usually get it kind of tight, whereas once they break in a little bit, now I have more room. So they are a little tight in the beginning, but that's how I like them to fit because I don't like moving around all day. Hold on. Mm. I got to tell you guys, I've been drinking protein shakes for 23, 24 years. This core power in vanilla is so tasty. I mean, like, it's really tasty. Tasty. So, all right. Now, the Vasque Talus Mid. What do I love about this boot so much? Why is it my favorite boot of all time? First off, it's because it's an all leather constructed boot. When it wears, it wears well. It doesn't crack at the sole. The seam, the adhesive is not cracking. I've never had any of the adhesive at the sole fail. The worst I get is the little toe flappy. And I use a little CA glue. If you guys are familiar, if you're carpenters, CA glue is a two-part adhesive and I use that to pop this sucker right back together and it never comes undone, okay? But the toe, the toe box, the construction of the boot holds up very well. The padding around the ankle, the tongue, the padding at the tongue. And then of course the Vibram sole. Now this is basically the heart of this boot and this is why this boot is so comfortable for me. Remember, I have three degenerated discs. Hold on one second, which phone is going off? Ah, no, no. Sorry, excuse me. So I have three degenerated discs that are completely gone, okay? So I have pressure on my sciatic nerve all day, every day. And so for me, it's very important to have comfortable boots on throughout the day because I'm on my feet all day, right? This sole, for some reason, and I can't even explain it, this particular exact sole has been a lifesaver for me. I can wear this boot all day long. It's light, it's thin, and the sole is comfortable. Now, here's the problem. This is the Vasque Talus Mid. All right, check this out. Now, we've got the Vasque Talus Mid Ultra Dry, which is like the summer, spring summer version of the Vasque Talus Mid. This is not the same boot. The sole looks the same, doesn't it? This is the breathable boot, okay? It's more lightweight, it's the ultra dry. It's a good boot, but I never wear it. This is not the same as this. And I've tried wearing these, but I can't wear them all day because my back starts to hurt. Then we go to the Vasque. I don't know what this one is. I don't know. But it's the comparable one for fall and winter. It's a little higher. It's a little warmer. It's got Gore-Tex, I think, or something. Yeah, it's Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. Tech. I don't know. These are Gore-Tex. They've got the rubber, the, the reinforced rubber toe. It's a little thicker of a leather. Um, again, it has the Gore-Tex lining. And this is a good boot. Now, the sole is similar, but again, it's not the same. This is a comfortable boot. It's warm in the winter time, but I rarely wear these. I only wear these once in a while to give my feet a break if I need it, but they're not the Vasque Talus Mid. And I'm pretty broken up about losing this boot because it's my favorite boot. It's so lightweight. And again, the replacement is lightweight as well. It's comfortable, and I'm sure once it breaks in, I'm gonna like it even more, but it's just not the same. You know, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to liken this to you. It's like having your favorite pillow, okay? Do you have a favorite pillow at night? And all of a sudden you go to a hotel and there's like all hotel pillows, and that's not your style of pillow? You're so uncomfortable. All night long, you're, you're like, ah, I can't find a comfortable position for my head. 
Or is that just me? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But I'm going to give this a try. And eventually we'll do a little review on this boot, the new Vask. What is it? I should probably find out. I should probably be able to tell you. I think it's also called a Talus. But this is the boot that the guy at Vask told me was the replacement. <sighs> All right. So this boot is still called the Vask Talus AT Ultra Dry. Now this boot you can find on eBay for about 120 bucks. That's what I got mine for, 120. These are a size 10 and these fit well. Uh, nine and a half would, would be fine for me as well. It'd give me that snug fit. Uh, but again, 10 fits fine. I'm five foot 10. Right now about 168 pounds. I fluctuate between 160 and 180 depending on the time of year and depending on what I'm doing. I'm trying to stay a little bit more consistent with my weight from now on. I'm, I'm gonna stay around 170. Mm. Also, now I've already talked to you guys about my vitamin regimen, my favorite protein, one of my favorite meals on the go, but I've had a lot of requests about how I stay fit and lean all year round. And one guy even asked me how I even have the energy to work out when I'm working all day, every day, and I'm always exhausted, which is very true. Now, there are some secrets that I've got for you. I've got some training secrets. Again, I've been training for 23 years. Um, I've got a diet that works really well for me, that, that helps me stay consistent all year round. So, so those videos are going to come out soon, but I'm going to end here because there's really not a whole lot more to say because I'm, I'm really bummed that you guys can't even experience my favorite boot, the Vask Talus Mid. If you can find this on eBay, I'd say go for it, as long as it's not like beat up and destroyed. But even this one, like this boot looks beat up and destroyed, but the sole is in incredible condition. And it really has a whole life left in it. Like, it's not worth getting rid of or anything like that. So, it is what it is, I guess. You know what I mean? Oh, here's the other pair that I have. Like I said, I keep two pair in rotation for working. I usually keep one for tree, landscape, and outdoor work. And I usually keep one for indoor, painting, contracting, etc. Because as you guys know, I have, I have both companies, Chip Chop and Grind, Tree and Landscape, and then Build, Guild, and Refine Custom Renovations. So... As of now, I stick with this boot, the Georgia 6-inch wedge sole, which I love. This is so comfortable. It's so light. I actually just keep the, I keep it unlaced just for comfort, really. Um, but it's very comfortable. And then I've been breaking in the new Talus AT Ultra Dry. So that's it for now, guys. Again, I'm Adam Neely, and this is Build, Guild, and Refine TV. So thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.